The life of a pirate is exciting. It's a lawless existence. A life of adventure on the open seas. With nothing in front of you but the wild waters and the promise of eternal riches. Okay, but put it in this. Welcome back to Speed Build Saturday. I'm your host, Fake Gamer Girl, and the way that I said this made this sound way more professional than it actually is. Before we begin, let me be absolutely transparent with you guys. I am having a day. I'm having a day. So if I'm not my usual lively self, if I have little to no inflection in my words, just keep in mind that I am extraordinarily unwell, and I'm also autistic. So you know what? Maybe the lack of word inflections is a little bit more close to the source material. However, don't mistake my ailing body body for a lack of ability to info dump about special interests. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but I actually really like pirates. They're definitely up there on my special interest list. Not all the way up there, there are definitely things I care more about, but when I'm reminded about pirates, I get very excited, which is why today I decided that I wanted to build a pirate shanty town in The Sims 4. Mm, maybe shanty town is a little bit optimistic and way too ambitious because that's what I set off doing, but it turned out to be a little bit Bit more like a pirate port. There's a little house in the corner and I also make a giant tavern and a booty shop where you can purchase not derrieres but more like you know valuables, trinkets, booty so to speak. And I also had a try that again. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I also tried to build that into a pirate ship. I don't know. I went in with a lot going on. Like I wanted to build something today and I was like I don't want to just build another house. And I was like oh, I like pirates and then that's that's where it when. And the entire time I was building this, I was listening to pirate shanties, an entire album as well, about the adventures of Anne Bonny, and it made me cry. Shout out to Carlian. God, that album is so good. But I do want to say that my fascination for pirates does not mean that I condone what pirates did, because I feel like pirates are very romanticized, but I also, like, totally give into it. I know that it's not accurate and it's not true, but, like, Pirates of the Caribbean, come on. I mean, to be honest, you stick Orlando Bloom in anything, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I'm on board with this. But, you know, the whole thing about stealing and killing and, you know, ransacking indigenous communities, I don't really vibe with that. But obviously, pirate media and pirate liter literature... <laughs> Uh, pirate literature really romanticizes the lifestyle as like this sort of breaking away from social norms, breaking away from corruption, living a life of freedom on the open seas, a life lacking judgment, all that stuff. And then there's like the swashbuckling and the romance and it, you know, the image does get very tainted and very fuzzy. So when I say I like pirates, I like the idea of pirates, not necessarily the all in cut. You get what I mean. Why am I trying to justify this? I liked pirates of the fucking Caribbean. Now, if we tie this back, Back to The Sims real quick because I, I don't mean to alarm you, but I, I am playing The Sims right now. I am building. I feel like we have put The Sims into this life simulation box and like, just hear me out. I feel like we have limited what we believe we can do in The Sims so much that we are never going to reach outside of this because let's be real. The Sims is just like a residential life simulator. There's not much going on, at least in the fourth installation of this franchise when it comes to going out and exploring. Exploring is a very loose term that is thrown around. Rolling my mouse to the edge of the map to find a cave and then clicking on it and then going into a rabbit hole is not really what I would necessarily call exploring. And I think The Sims could do something amazing if they made a pirate spinoff. And I'm not just saying like what we've already had with The Sims Medieval because The Sims Medieval did actually have a pirate expansion pack. But like, hear me out. Imagine if you could make your own pirate ship, like build by pirate ship, right? So you, you get to make where your pirates live. And then you're like, okay, but like, how are you going to travel? If you think about it, you could have a lot that is your pirate ship and there's just an animation of water passing through. So it looks like you are constantly in the middle of the ocean and that your ship is moving. You're not actually going anywhere. The game doesn't have to load locations for you to pass by. It's just an animation of water flowing. That immediately, boom, sells the illusion that you are traveling on a pirate ship. And then you're like, okay, that then what? When you want to fast travel, quote unquote, you can travel to different islands. And these islands could be randomly generated. And you might be like, okay, this is already getting very compli compli fuck complicated. <laughs> I can speak. But let me raise you this, right? Hear me out. Just hear me out. You know what other game did randomly generated islands that you could regularly visit whenever you wanted? And it would always be a different island? Animal Crossing New Horizons. And that game was on a Switch, which is only slightly more technologically advanced than a potato. But then you're like, 
like, well, there was nothing on those islands anyway. The islands wouldn't be the main draw of this game because you could visit the island that's randomly generated if you wanted to restock on supplies, if you wanted to hunt for food or something like that. But you could also visit like port towns. You can visit cities. You can visit these other places that would act as community lots. So it's not that different from The Sims. And also like sometimes you take your Sims to the park as a whole family because you just want to have a good family day. What did they do? What is at a Sims park? I mean, like think about the park that you go to in Willow Creek. What's really there? Nothing, exactly. But then you're like, okay, well, what do pirates do? Well, they tend to attack other ships. So you might be like, okay, this is where it ends. This is where this idea ends. There's no way this would work. Well, think about it. What happens to your Sims every couple of, like every couple of hours in game? Just think about it for a second. Okay, you done thinking about it? You get a phone call. You get a pop-up. You get something in the top right that says the festival of light is happening. Or somebody texting you saying, hey, I heard you're friends with your brother. You must be a really nice person. So what would be so weird about getting a pop-up that says you see a ship on the horizon? What do you want to do? And you could say, I sail past it. You could say, um, I try and parlay. Or you could say, I want to raid this ship. And then boom, if you want to do a loading screen because The Sims really likes loading screens, then fine. We load screen onto another ship, which is technically like visiting your neighbor. But the interactions would be different. You can see that your ship is right next to theirs. And then you can just do whatever you want. You can you can just make fucking animation, Sims team. I know you guys are great at animating. You can animate somebody swinging on to the other ship. You can, we've had sword fights in Sims Medieval. Are you seeing, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you getting what I'm laying down? I bet at the beginning of this entire rant, if you're even still listening, I bet half of you aren't even watching anymore. Or at least looking at the screen at the very least. At least glance. Come on. I bet at the beginning of this rant, you thought, okay, yeah, no, a Sims pirate game? That is way too complicated. I just boiled it down to you guys. And this is just one way to do it. This is like the lazy way to do it if you wanted. But imagine, would that not be so fun? And the Sims team already has the groundwork to do something like this. I'm not gonna say it's easy. Making games is not easy. I don't wanna minimize the work that these people do, but it's possible. And imagine how many more spin-off games you could have of what is already there. It's just reskinning everything if you think about it. And that would be easy money. Like imagine how many people even outside of the Sims community would be like a pirate life simulator. Hell yeah. And then think about the creative sim. Like, oh my God, the pirate dress up fantasy would be amazing. Listen, I'm not gonna say EA should hire me because I have no skill sets. I don't know how to use my computer 99% of the time, but I know how to talk and I know how to think sometimes. Sims team, you know what? Just take my idea. You don't even, actually, I would want you to credit me for the idea. You don't have to pay me. You don't have to even give me a free copy. I just want this thing to exist. Anyway, that's my delusional moment over for today. No, wait, my delusion is going to continue much longer because I also have several more ideas. Obviously, traversing the seven seas was a very, very perilous thing to do, and it would come with some pretty interesting lot challenges as well. Now, these are things that you could probably turn off in the settings because I know some people will want a more relaxed experience and just want to live a regular life simulation as a pirate. And also, just real quick before I go back to my original point as well, you don't even have to be a pirate. You could just live in a port town and then marry someone who's a pirate and then, you know, something like that. You know, you could, there's a choice. Choice. But imagine something like high tides that could come in and like destroy some of the walls on your ship or bring down some of the durability of your items. Same thing as if you have like the fucking, I don't remember what it's called, like the gremlins trait on in The Sims where some of your items just break. It's like a reskin of something like that. That. Weather would have to be built into the game, Sims team, come on, listen. So you'd also have to adapt to really, really hot days or really, really cold nights. And also, could you just imagine the sound of the waves just constantly, like that would feel so relaxing. Like you probably put all the walls up, go down to the brig of your ship. You're in the captain's room and you're just seeing like the object slowly swaying, hearing the creaking of the wood. Oh my God, everybody that has motion sickness would fucking die. <laughs> it would just be so cool. I don't know, am I crazy? Maybe a little bit. Bit. Don't answer that question, but like, you know, like Ice Spice Simulator, like, like booty, like. Also, just completely unrelated to anything we've been talking about. Did you know that every single week on this channel, we have a build competition where I give you guys a prompt, you guys build it, upload it to the gallery, and then I review those builds in a video. Using the hashtag that shows up on the screen right now, I want you guys to build me a build that is in the sky. It could be floating on a cloud. It could be in the stars. It could be hovering or flying for whatever reason, but just make it make sense. Make it feel natural. Don't just build a floating house.
house. Give it a reason to float. You know what I mean? The deadline to submit your build is gonna be Saturday, February 24th. So get your builds in by then. And please double check the spelling of the hashtag because if you don't spell it right, I'm not gonna see it. And if I don't see it, it won't get reviewed. And then, you know, the whole death threat thing. We've been here before. Unless you haven't, and this is one of my first videos in which I would like to formally apologize that this is how you found me. I promise it doesn't get any better than this. I just have quips that I say. Just things that come out of my mouth. I'm not even thinking about it. I mean, I rarely think about what I'm going to say, and then I publish it to the internet. It's a huge problem. <gasps> Man, I'm so tired. Sometimes I get kind of nervous to say that I'm tired or not doing well, because I feel like there are so many people who definitely have, like, busier, more tired lives than I am. I'm not saying I am the pinnacle of being the eepiest person in the room, even though I could probably stand pretty high up in that ranking. But I feel like I'm always gonna get somebody that's like, uh, you don't know tired. Your hands are soft, liberal. But I think we should all just normalize being tired. I'm not saying that so we should all be tired. I'm just saying normalize talking about, you know what? I mean, I'm just having like a fucking low energy day today. I mean, for some people, you get low energy days because you did a lot the day before. Like that's completely normal. But sometimes you just have a day where like, you know what? Nothing in particular has caused me to feel this way. And I'm just tired. And then you feel kind of guilty about being tired because you're like, but I didn't do anything to earn this tired, which I think is a really poopy mentality because at the end of the day, you can't really control that. I mean, there are things you could probably do to help, you know, if you're fucking vitamin deficient or something like that, but we're not gonna talk about that. I'm trying not to be contrarian to my own self right now. Do you get what I mean? Like, I'm tired because I'm disabled. Like, I get, like, you know, the tired pass. But at the same time, I don't think anybody needs a tired pass. And I don't want this to come off like I'm complaining either. I've had some people tell me that they actually really appreciate me talking about this stuff because it, like, normalizes it for them and makes them feel a bit better. So if you're tired, you know what? Go ahead. Tell me in the comments how tired you are. Tell me why you're tired. Tell me why you're tired even if you don't know why you're tired. Just say, I'm just tired. I don't know. I just fucking woke up today and that was it. I got out of bed today and that was all I could do and that was really hard. Some of you are probably in bed still and I'm not saying that to judge you. Like, I wish I could be you right now. Probably after this, I will go back into bed. <laughs> like, I know sometimes when I start a video off by saying, man, oh, just giving you guys a disclaimer, I'm not feeling too good. I get so many people being like, girl, take the day off. Like, one, I wish I could. Two, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because I want to still be able to record videos even when I'm feeling like this or just, like, not really up to it. Like, physically, not emotionally, but, like, physically feeling very, like, dead because I feel like it's kind of at least refreshing to see because I feel like on social media and even, like, with just content that's being made, you only see people when they're at their best and they're at their top and they're trying to, you know, they're trying to entertain you. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But, you know, with people like me that kind of just live with this chronic illness stuff, I feel like it's kind of nice to be like, I can still live my life and I'm living my life. It's just like a little bit differently to somebody who's more able-bodied. You know what I mean? So I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Although I know people who comment that mean that like in a really nice way. But I just wanted to say like why I don't always do that. And also, I mean, your girl gotta pay rent as well. Like, I mean, <laughs> I don't, like I'm just a girl in capitalism. Like, I don't know what, like, what you want me to do, but which is probably why making a video about pirates really kind of picked me up because like, I like that. I could talk your ear off about that and I did. Also, I feel like it's really fitting because at least for me, I feel like The Sims is a really good game to play when you're having one of those days. Like most of the time, I'll probably pick up Baldur's Gate or something like that. But like, you know, sometimes those games are a little bit too much thinky thinky and not so much, you know, relaxing. So sometimes I just want to shut my brain off and play a silly little game and this is usually the one that I pick. Although this build was not so much silly little hee hee ha ha. This build was actually kind of difficult to do and I don't know. Maybe you guys like it. I, I don't know. I like it. Anyway, we're basically at the end of the build now, but don't click off yet because I made a lovely little pirate montage to show off the rest of the build. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you liked it. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and go ahead and check down in the description.